reinforcement. There are two main types of steel reinforcement being used in pre-stressed concrete structure, which are non-pre-stressed steel reinforcement and pre-stressing steel tendon. Let us look into the non pre stress reinforcement bar first. It is basically the typical steel bars being used in reinforced concrete structures. It appears in two main forms, which are the high yield steel bar and also mild steel bar. The high yield steel bar have the specified yield strength of 410, 460 and 500 newton per mm square while the mild steel bar have the specified yield strength of 250 newton per mm square there are bricks on the high yield steel bar while the surface of the mild steel bar are plain it is noted that Eurocode do not provide any guideline for the design of mild steel bar in reinforced concrete structures and pre-stressed concrete structures. In another word, Eurocode recommend the usage of the high yield steel bar with the FY of 410, 460 and 500 Newton per mm square to be used as the longitudinal bar and also the stirrups. The table here shows the common size of the non pre-stressing steel bar. The size range from 6 mm to 50 mm. The density and the cross-sectional area of different sizes are given here. In the pre-stressed concrete member, the non-pre-stressed reinforcement bar are used as the wet reinforcement for diagonal tensile stress, which is the shearling. As the supplementary non-pre-stressing reinforcement bar in the regions of high compressive stress at the anchorage of the post-tension beams, as the longitudinal bar to control the shrinkage and thermal crackings. As the longitudinal and transverse reinforcement for overhanging the flank of T and I shaped cross section. And also as the supplementary longitudinal bar reinforcement to increase the fracture strength of the beam. What you see here the applications of the non pre stress reinforcement bars are mainly to supplement the pre stressing steel in pre stressed concrete members. It is used as the shearling to strengthen the member in compression and flexure strength, to control cracking, and also to form the shapes of the pre stressed member.